Hi, my name is Randall Loy. Thank you so much for joining me today once again on the Infertility Channel. Today we're actually in my office. I'm going to be taking a question. It's one question from Gene from Omaha, Nebraska, but I've had this question many, many times. And the question is this, what can I expect on the day of my egg retrieval? So here we are in an ambulatory surgical center setting. Behind me are beds and what happens when you come in you will have been without anything to eat or drink from midnight the night before. That's called being NPO if you see that. It's uh, non per oral. And so NPO means nothing to eat or drink. You can of course brush your teeth that morning and spit out the water uh, but no coffee, no juice, no breakfast. You come into a place like this and you'll be placed into one of those funny hospital gowns where your rear end shows and uh, then you go into the bed and one of the nurses or the anesthesiologist will start an intravenous line, an IV on you and you'll receive an antibiotic through the vein most likely. After that the anesthesiologist and the nurse typically will escort you into the operating room either by stretcher or walking in there and then you'll take your place on the operating room table and you'll receive several different kinds of medications. Now those medications are called monitored anesthesia care. So most of the medications for retrievals are given through the vein. And the goal is to help you not feel this at all, remember this at all, or care about this at all. And it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to capture the egg cells. We've gone over that in a previous episode. And then you'll come back into this area. And in Florida, we keep you here for one hour after the procedure. And then we'll get you up and out. We do obviously need for you to have a designated driver because you should never drink and drive. You should never have anesthesia and drive. Now some clinics such as ours have video link-ups such that your family can actually watch the eggs being recovered. Uh, it's, it's not anything but an ultrasound view, but you see those collapsing follicles and then we go to the next and the next and the next. So it's kind of interesting. It's like a, a video game. I want to thank Eugene from Omaha for that great question. This is what to anticipate on the day of surgery. Pre-op, intra-op, post-op. Thanks so much. I'll see you again next week. Be sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe to catch all new episodes each week here on the Infertility Channel. Plus, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I love hearing from you. Comment below or tell me what you want to see on future episodes by sending me an email to comments at infertilitychannel.org. Until next week.